special welcome to you right there um this is you welcome to nifa fan on first nigeria limited and on this call today um i'm going to be revealing to you uh, a special skill that can boost your profits in livestock farming especially if you're into catfish business or other just any livestock farming in short okay uh, actually um on the screen you can see we are going to be discussing about how to formulate feed for catfish and at the same time how to use that skill to maximize our profits in livestock farming business um even expert says that one of the best way that we can maximize profit especially if you run a very big livestock farming business is to have your own feed produced by yourself you understand there is no any other shortcut to how to do this you understand that to have this skill um big farms like about on C and all those things they have their home industry that they are using we are the, the produce feed for their um farm you understand it is something that we individual can do as well you understand at least to reduce the amount of money you spend on feed every blessed day um this is a way o only that we have not really been giving this thing you know um a concern in mind maybe due to the schedule or a lot of things like that but like seriously if you plan to make profit you understand um in life of family you can't do without um having the knowledge on how to produce your own food you get okay uh, i'm not really saying that using with uh using important feed that you would never make a profit i didn't say that you will make a, a profit you get it's all about your strategy but to me to maximize it to triple your profit you need to know how to do this you understand and even apart from the issue of making profit and all these things um formulating your own feed gives you a lot of benefits you understand it gives you a lot of benefit because you will be in total control of what you give giving to your animals you understand and apart from that you won't have um, any issue like maybe maybe changing from one feed to another that can really affect your affect your business affect your stock you understand what i'm saying so those are the things that we are going to be discussing actually and if you are to look around you will discover that every blessed day there is only an increment in um price of uh, imported feed you understand and um to me personally i believe the only way we can you know to remove this body is to have this skill with us it's not difficult you understand the environment we are in africa allows us to do something like that you get me we have a lot of resources the free ingredients are readily available you understand and to this and uh, an experienced cattle farmer understand that feed takes about 70 to 80 percent of cattle farming business you understand now if, if you have it maybe you invest a sum of just let us say hundred thousand um in catfish farming business and you spend roughly uh, 80 to 90 percent of this money back into feed then at the end of the day if you are to realize your profit you will understand that it's just like when you are working for uh, feed milers or distributors and it shouldn't be you understand so the best way is to know how to do this in any livestock farming business feed formulation is an important part of it it is something you can't ignore it is something you can never neglect you understand it's something you must know how to do perfectly and that is the reason why i'm here today to reveal to you how you can easily formulate heady um catch you you understand then not only that i'm going to be giving out a free um formula for catfish you understand and at the same time i'm going to be formulate feed live you understand so you can see how these things work together so like you are doing like up to two three things together so you are welcome once again and my name let's i forget is adewale adim Luz. so in case you are listening to me for the very first time i own the fat farms in nigeria limited you understand and we have our website on the screen as you can see www.agropit.com.ng so before we move on let's us quickly look at um, some benefits of uh and uh, self-feed formulation you understand because most of us believe that well um, i can still get a bag at the below 10 thousand era so um, and um i can see be affording it like i said earlier you understand this thing is eating eating into your profit 
so why do i really need to use um fit formulation apart from the fear and profit of a thing so let's look at some reasons you understand now access to fresh food always knowing how to formulate balanced feed gives you access to fresh feed always you will never run out of feed to feed your animals that is it let me cite you an example here uh, like two or three years ago or few years ago we were running um, a small catfish business when I was in Adikoro doing Lagos and understand. So in our getting to the time that we need to feed them, we, we um, as in my brother then is the one that uh, owns that farm in the time before I separated. Now, this one thing about him is that he always stick to one brand. You get. Let, let's say for instance now he is been using the rented. You get feed. So shifting to another. Uh, brand it is uh, somehow difficult for him you understand so he loved something like that now there was a time that we couldn't find the brand that we were using to feed the animal you understand so we have to be running at that scatter so that but i didn't mean we have this knowledge then no so it shouldn't have been it, that wouldn't have been a problem you understand all we just have to do is to formulate food for ourselves so that's just it another reason is that you adequate and balanced food for your animals. This is something that most of all the livestock farmer don't really understand. Most of these brands that are charging all the FE stone due to the importation of a team, they use the same local materials that we are abandoned here. You understand? They use the same thing to formulate their feed. Go out and check. Anytime you purchase your next uh, feed, you understand? Try and look at the back, look at the ingredients. You will discover that the same thing that we abandon it is something that they are using they use the same formula we are using you get now so if you know how to do this um if you know how to do it you will know you will be in good position you will know what you are to be given to your animal you will be in total control of what you are giving to your animal it number one you will know how to formulate an um, adequate and balanced feed you get so that it won't just be maybe you buy one, one uh, a, a, a brand today um your animals are reacting somehow you understand and tomorrow you change to another one it's resorted to another thing you understand but if you are the one producing it yourself you will know what they want you understand now and you will know what they, to, to give them so that's another reason another reason now is you will make more profits you understand either you are running on a small scale or you have a very big farm to make to maximize your profit to triple any amount you are making right now the only solution the only answer is to you know how you can formulate it yourself you understand let's hear an example let us mean that right from the day one of the day you stop your point you understand you have been using imported feed and the day also, I also um, stop my point I'm using local feed now at the point of sale customers will never say because you've been using an imported feed you understand they are going to buy a kilo of feed from you at the rate of three thousand era why they are going to buy from me at the rate of maybe one thousand era no you understand no no not at all because this is most well, this is the reason why most of us believe that ah, I, will, I will only be using um important because they make the fish to be very uh maybe bigger or something like that actually it's not like that if you have a skill like this you will know what to put together you will know what to combine together you will know the type of feed ingredient to use that can make your feed not just only bigger but heavy at the same time after weights you understand and this will also give you more profit you understand so that's just it so i can say there is a lot more benefit using the car feed to my own experience now so that's just it that's for i can continue giving you more reason but because of the time and um, because of what we still have ahead so let's stop to that three for now now look at feed um self feed formulation all this and that what do i really need to know before i embark on producing my own feed do i really need to have uh, a very big amount meal or something like that so what do i really need to know now let's check that out now what you need to know is number one you need to know the nutritional uh, requirements of your target um stock this is what i'm saying every um 
different animals need different nutrients to do it in terms of productivity and body build up you understand now layers for instance we need much of energy feed to produce more eggs brothers we need more more much of protein you understand pig we need much of fat and oil why fishes at the, the center of our discussion here more of protein feed you understand now so adequate knowledge of indeed ingredient and nutritional value of various ingredients coupled with the nutritional requirement of your feed at the various stages will help you as a farmer to formulate a quality feed you understand so if you know the nutritional requirement formulate a quality feed will never be your problem so how do you get that now this is your things that are already be predetermined by the NRC that is National Research Council so they have this normal there already like fingerless uh, catfish is between 35 to 45 percent and above now let me piece this into three you know normally we in, in catfish we have fingerlings we have juveniles then we have adult fishes you understand now uh, I know we also have put juveniles and all those things, but that's how it's being predetermined. Now, fingerlings will use 45% and above as their nutritional requirements. It is you can. It is always good to have uh, a CP that is good protein higher down. You have it below, so that, uh, you need to understand that. Now, post uh, juveniles like juveniles like I said, uh, they will have 40% and above. Why the adult fish we have um, 35 percent so that's the nutritional requirement for catfish now anti-nutritional you need also you must know the anti-nutritional or toxic factor in feed ingredient some ingredients are better not to use due to presence of certain anti-nutritional elements in them so you understand now three palatability of available ingredients Catch fish, for instance, they have taste preferences. You understand? Now, and as an experienced catch fish farmer, understand that, and you want to make sure that you choose a very good variety of ingredients that will suit the taste of your fishes. For instance, GMC, that is granite cake, has a better taste and aroma over a substitute bennet seed. You understand what I'm saying now? That is. Um, any feed formulated with GMC will better satisfy our catfish rather than using benefit benefit rather you understand then soya bean meal that is soya meal is prefer above cotton seed you understand now for me now if I have to produce feed for any of my catfish what I use the most is fish meal it is very very rich in protein so I always love to use that you understand so palatability of available ingredient is very very important you understand now more then availability of preferred ingredients there are sometimes that you prefer um, ingredient over the others you understand? so this has nothing to do with maybe the cause or the availability of such ingredient what when preferred ingredients are not available a farmer is saddled with responsibility of choosing from a wide range of similar ingredients. Let's say, for instance, when flour or dough is not available, maybe that's what you are trying to use in the ingredient you are trying to use um, in your feed, but they are not available. You can easily choose from other uh, um, energy producing um, ingredients. You understand? Maybe like uh, tuber crops to complement the energy requirements of the feed. So you don't just have to say because I didn't see chuba, that would be the, I didn't see flour or dough, then that would be the end. No, you just have to use the one that will be very close to that ingredient and it will work perfectly. Can you understand? Okay, the last one right here is the available processing technology. Now, this is a crucial factor to be considered when formulating your feed. Some ingredients should not be used at all due to the crude protein process. Sorry the crude processing method which might have led to the loss of essential nutrients you understand now in any of my in any of my uh, formulation i don't use maize maize 
should not be used at all if the feed milers does not possess the technology to powder it because experience has shown that fish might not be able to fully digest maize grain that is not well milled i think you're trying to digest what i'm saying so due to the uh, digestibility of maize you understand if it is not well powdered you understand if it's not well milled then it will be very difficult for cast fish to swallow that is to digest you understand it's very difficult for them to digest and if they don't digest it that will result to another thing you understand so these are the key points that i think they are, is very very important for you especially the nutritional requirements here it is very very important as well as the pal palatability or available ingredients now having look at all these things the requirements and the benefits of um using livestock feed let us now look at the nutritional table with this nutritional table we are going to see the list of feed ingredients we are going to see the uh, cp the uh, uh, ly the metrosine and uh, every other thing so you can know how to use them you understand this is how it looks you can't change anything here they are already predetermined you get they are already predetermined so the only thing you need to need is you look at this ing ingredients and see the one you have available so you can use to formulate your feed so for instance we have blood mean we have uh, bone meal, we have cassava we have cotton benicide fish meal granite cake with maize guinea corn soya beans then there is another one here pumpkin cake we have wheat bran we have rice over rice brown millet maize brown sunflower limestone there are very many you understand there are very many now there are some other feed ingredients that we can use to formulate for catfish you understand these are if you can get them free i'm talking about cassava leaves or all these cocoa leaves you understand these are the things that we can use to formulate feed you understand we can use um crumbs chicken stuff all these things you can use them you understand to formulate feed but don't let us go to that area today let us face this one so you can understand this cost preferring now i want to write out uh, a free formula like i said you see this table you understand then from there we are going to move on to how we can formulate uh livestock i, I mean feed for for catfish so all this for uh, the formula I want to give out to you uh, is already uh, I've already calculated everything in 100 kilogram feed, so you can use them to formulate any feed and for fingerlings 45 CP for fingerlings. Now the number one here is guinea corn. Guinea corn in 100 kilogram you will use. 23.50 that's in kg you understand then we have our uh, gnc like i said is up uh, it will be 9.50 fish meal also 44.70 sbm that is soya bean meal full fat this will be 1700 0.30 0.35 Its premise 0.30 so dot three five BM booming four dot zero zero. Now you can use this formula to produce an edit feed. For fingerlings, you understand. This all this value they are already in kilogram. You understand. Now, if I have to calculate all these things together, 
you will arrive at 100 kilogram in total you understand that will be your final result you understand so but the big question now is how do i write something like this on my own you understand how do i write a formula how can i formulate feed on my own you understand so let's look at a practical example on how to do that now the question is please calculate to prepare a fish feed that includes 45 percent good protein using fish meal and corn gluten meal you know i told you in most of my formulation what i do use normally is fish meal when i'm producing feed for um catfish and the reason is that it's very rich in um protein and catfish they love the iron man you understand they love the iron man so i always prefer to use it than any other protein source uh, ingredient now the question now is um the question in front of us now is to formulate uh good protein a 45 cp using fish meal and cgm so how do we do this now in a situation like this we have two options that is uh two formulas that we can use two method of feed formulation that we can use number one we call it trial and error method of feed formulation you understand this one is very cumbersome especially for the beginners you understand if you if you really don't if you are not become a uh, conversant with fifth formulation you cannot use this one but there is another one called box method it's also known as a piercing square method or square box or feed formulation this second one is very very simple you understand you can use uh, especially if you are to use um, two feed ing ingredients like the one they gave it to us here using fish meal as well as the CGM you understand then you can call this one it is very very simple to use only that it has some um, some features that you must understand perfectly and I'm going to be writing now the, the features you understand so let's clean that features of box method that is the rules of when I say pictures I mean the rules okay. let me just put it so you can remember rules of box method not methods number one the center number the center number and the balls is the nutritional or nutrient requirements of the target animal now when we're talking of box method let me show you how it is before we move on to the uh, to the rules you understand this is piercing square this is how it looks like you can do this on paper and you can also use software actually i think i have a software here i'm going to give it to you at the end of this uh, this show now this is how to use piercing square the first thing you want to do when you are doing this is you draw a box like this that's why we call it box method you understand we draw a box like this then at the center here there will be a number here you understand this number is what they give to us here that is we are to prepare a fish feed that include 45 percent good protein remember i told you that cartridge they have their nutrient requirement between 35 to 45 cp you understand when i say cp i mean good protein now here now based on the knowledge of feed formulation we are to formulate a feed for fingerlings you understand because they require 45 cp and above now with that what we are going to do is using this method you can use trial and error but that one is very very cumbersome 
at times you have to go over and over and over again because you can, before you can be able to write out the formula but here it is very simple and straightforward that's why i'm teaching you this especially for the beginner so the first thing we are going to do is withdraw this box sorry withdraw this box then at the center here we put our 45 here now but before we do that let us through with the, the rules like i said the rule number one says the center number in the box is the nutrient requirement of the target animal so if we are to formulate for adult fish that means we are at the center number we are going to have 35 percent over there so you understand then rule number two rule number two subtraction This is, that's the rule number two during the calculation because we are going to be calculating now during the calculation suppression is done diagonally i will show you how it is done you understand okay this is what i'm saying now this is the box you understand this is the center number the required nutrient for that uh, the feed we have to uh, uh, for the fish that we have to formulate a feed for then we have our 45 percent here you understand now the suppression is done like this and like this i will show you now we are giving don't forget that we are giving two feed ingredients ingredients rather fish meal as gone gluten meal that is cgm so what we are going to do is we are going to have the two ingredients place like this we are going to have them placed like this and this now will let us go to the rule number three now the rule number three is i'm coming the value of each ingredient is then Divided by the sum total of the ingredients. Determine the percentage of each ingredient in the ration. That is the rule number three. Now, apart from this rule, this box method also have another rule. But this is the three major rule for this. But just let me say this to you so you can understand this before i fully explain that rule number three now if you are to use box method to formulate feed for any livestock either poultry pig or anything or catfish like this this is one one thing i want you to place at the back of your mind before you select any feed ingredient make sure that you know the nutritional requirements like i said earlier that's number one thing the rule of feed formulation now as this is 45 cp the center number is 45 cp you must not use uh, a feed ingredient which both of them are below this 45 cp maybe i should come again now as we are having 45 cp at the center now you cannot use a feed ingredient maybe the two feed ingredients must not more than what we have at the center one must be higher why the other one must be lower you understand so if the center number is 45 like this one must be higher than 45 why the other one must be lower than 45 like just as you can see it on the screen now if what you are trying to do let's assume that you, you are producing for layers for instance which is 90.50 now if you want to use two feed ingredients like this 
one must be something between 21 upward while the other one must be below 19.5 as well you cannot use 15 and 14 it's not possible so it won't work out and you cannot use something that will be higher when the num the, the both number will be higher it won't be possible as well so with this uh, we we'll sort out with the main three rules of this uh, method that's the only method that we have the the value of each ingredient is then divided by the sum total of the ingredients to determine the percentage of each ingredient in the region now let us solve that number uh, equation number three don't forget that I told you that using this method especially if you have to use feed in, uh, two feed in the ingredients like this 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 method is very very okay and the suppression is done diagonally like this as you can see that's why i use two different colors so you can see it clearly now now let's do the calculation together we have to prepare a feed 45 cp so let's see uh, what is going to happen now fish meat is 65 percent rich in protein ycgm is 40 percent rich in protein now we are going to take um 45 from 65 here we'll have our answer here you understand we'll have the answer here then we are going to take up 45 again from 40 we are going to have minus 5 here you understand that will take us to another thing you understand so whenever you are dealing whenever you are dealing with box method that is this particular method do ignore all this any negative sign arrived you understand you ignore the negative sign arrive so we don't deal with negativity you understand now another thing that i want you to um to see clearly here is you will discover that when we deduct 45 from 65 we're supposed to put the value at the top here but no it is not done that way you understand that is diagonally we have the answer here which is 20 you understand and this one as well which is minus 5 but since we we have to ignore the negative sign then we'll have the plus 5 now anything you have at the top here will belong to the fish meal then anything you have at the bottom here will belong to this so that is the rule of this method that is how it's done and it's very simple it's not difficult at, at all just make sure that you follow the um, the step you do your calculation diagonally like I said now to me this is this is very simple mm -hmm. when you are formulating a feed I always take um, the feed in that has the higher um, CP at the top you understand why I have the lower one at the bottom it means this to be very simple for me to do the calculation so that's it so <clears throat> if you have if you still have any question on this at the bottom of this uh, uh, the video you can comment then i will reply you i will answer your question now by this we are going to do the calculation together here 5 plus 20 which is equal to 25 that is it you understand now for me perfectly we will say okay we've arrived at the final answer but don't forget that feed are normally calculated in 100 kilogram now for us to know the percentage of fish meat present in this feed and for us also to know the percentage of corn glucose meal present in this feed we need to take this uh that the result from here and multiply it by 100 then we have our final solution in kilogram you understand so let's see how that works as you can see um fish percentage of fish meal we now convert it to 5 over 25 multiply by 100 that is 20 percent that means if you are to formulate any feed for fingerlings using fish mean and cgm you understand with the cp with the requirement 45 cp that means fish meal will be 20 kilogram 20 percent of the total feeding uh, the feeding unit then we are going to do the same thing for cgm 20 over 25 multiply by 100 it will give us 80 percent that shows that cgm cgm also occupies 80 percent of the total of the feeding increment so 
that's far as that it concerned you understand so this now will be our final answer that is if i have to formulate uh, like this now if i have to use this feed for my fingers i will do a measurement of 80 20 kilogram for fish meal then 80 kilogram for fish meal then mix them together pelletizes then i have my um 45 cp requirement for fingerings now you might be wondering that is this really correct maybe you are still doubting whether it's correct or not let us look at it to check if the formula is okay we need to confer this back to our target nutritional cp if we don't forget we will discover that we were giving 45 cp to formulate um the feed 45 cp using two feed ingredients that is fish meal as well as this cgm now what we are going to do to know whether it's correct or not is to take the 20 percent of 65 percent of the fish meal now after we've done the calculation from here you understand the calculation we done from here now we, from here rather we discover that the total value from here is 20 kilograms the total value for here is 80 kilograms so let's see don't forget that this 65 percent here belong to cf fm that is fish meal you understand then the 40 percent here belong to cgm which is the cp of cgm 65 percent the cp for fish meal now if we take if you divide this do this calculation together 20 let's do it this 20 the one on grain multiply by 65 that is 13 you understand let's not take that as equation one now let's do it again let's have um 80 over 100 then multiply by 40 also it give us 32 now for us to know that this thing is perfectly correct or not we are now going to add 32 plus 13 if at the end of the day we arrive at 45 uh, percent that means the calculation here is correct and that is we can use this field for fingerings now let's do that 32 plus 13 bam that just it we arrive at 45 cp that means the calculation and everything is perfectly okay that is it that is how simple it is to use box method to produce feed for fingerlings for catfish generally not only the catfish you can use it for any other livestock you know like poultry i use it for poultry for pig in fact for snail you understand the one thing i just want you to understand the is this you understand this table just get familiar with the table you understand and also make sure that you know um the nutritional requirements of your target animal once you know that then you will know the um the available feed ingredient you will never have any problem to formulate you understand so that's far as this is concerned okay um in the show you will discover that we only use two feed ingredients but now what about if you were to use like more than two feed like the main formula we have the one that i wrote out for you the other time you can rewind this video back to watch that uh, formula what's about if uh, we, are, we have to use something like uh, three to four or even five feed ingredients in you know, to formulate for our livestock this is what will happen now we are, we need to come down here let us assume that we have like five of these feed ingredients and we have to target 45 cp what we are going to do actually is that we are going to divide these five in in ingredients into two you will look for the ingredient that their number is less than 20 you group them together then you will look for another one that their, uh, their cp is higher than 20 you group them together I, um, I really don't understand if you understand what I'm saying. Let us assume that we are giving a oh, five, for instance. 
Okay, let's assume that uh, we are given some um, feed ingredients like five. Okay, let, let's do a rough calculation or something. Let's assume that ingredients number one is uh, let's say um, eight point nine, eight point nine. Then ingredient two also have something like uh, sixty five. Then ingredient three something like uh, uh, let's say. 14 you understand then another one maybe in the four now also have like uh, um let's see um 44 then another one which is the last one let's say that one i have something like uh, uh let's say 19 you understand now we were given these five um ingredients and we have to formulate um we have to prepare it using this box method what we are going to do is we are going to group this ingredients into two we are going to group them into two you understand like i said then the group one you understand it will be less than 20 cps you understand then the other one other one will be greater than 20 cp you understand now from here let's do it together um number one we have 8.9 so it will be something like 8.9 plus you understand plus number three that's 14 plus then plus number five that's plus 19 you understand so there are total number you write it somewhere you understand then group number two we have in the number two 65 plus of oh, number 4 44 also you write the total number now group number one now you have the total number here then or uh, group number two rather with the one with the higher uh, protein content you have the number here then the one with, uh, the one that with lower <coughs> cp you have it here as well with that you can carry out your feed formulation easily you understand so that's how um, to formulate with box method is very simple and efficient very very simple and you can never go wrong using this formula you understand so that's far as this show is concerned now I'm, I'm giving away um, just like um, a 20 copies of my uh, feed formulation book you understand just I think I have just only 20 copies available right now so I'm giving it away. So you can download the the software. Uh, I mean, this, uh, yes, it, it has a software. Um, a video like this, as well as book. So you have you are having three things um for free. You understand? In that package, so you just visit this link. You understand? Just only twenty copies, and by special grace of God, it's no more than seventy two hours. You understand because we just giving it, it, it's just a takeaway we're giving it away for people just only 20 copies of it the reason why we are doing this is actually we want to generate more comments more feedback from people we just want people to try it out and see um uh, what they have in their businesses so you understand now if you go and type in this link into your browser you will have um a page like this the page will says thank you you are awesome as promised, I want to give only Titi Lucky um last of farmers access to download um this feed formulation. As you can see, like the one we give to you, we have more than 120 feed formulas there that you can easily download. Just implement it in your poultry, in your pigs, snow, um rabbits, all these things. We have feed for uh, formulas for them. And you are going to see more and more examples like this one that you can follow, then it become an expert in feed formulation now once you get to this page all you just have to do is you scroll down to this particular button you scroll on this button here then you'll be able to download your copy thank you so much for being part of Nifad since morning don't forget this is the link that you are going to to use to get to that page that is bit.ly forward slash 72 hrs offer that is 72 hours over you don't need to capitalize everything anything just write it like that you understand that's why i just show is concerned then 
um if you have any question concerning fit formulation or if there is anything still bothering your mind you understand feel free to contact me you understand you can reach me using this number here zero nine zero six eight five one five six zero one you understand that's the only number that you can use to get across to unified you understand <coughs> you can store it like that unified fans you understand so that's a that's a number zero nine zero six eight five one five six zero one you understand hmm. but for now for now for now for now all you just have to do is go by here bit.ly forward slash 72 hours so far then you go and pick your copy of this available manual you have a video as well as in fact we have some other bonuses out there that we don't announce here but when you click that button you'll be able to download everything uh, it's only 20 copies available actually so and i must tell you in my group alone i have more than 1000 members there so a lot of people will be rushing to download so if you are still lucky to have a copy then no problem but if you are not there may be sometimes again when we still happen to give it out you might be fortunate only 20 copies are available and you can see it's just for three days to read we have a software that we are using to uh, monitor the to monitor the the download links that is for every download it will take the number if it's one today it will mark the number and i'm very sure the, this 20 immediately the tw it reached the 20 copies the, that's how we program it the link will be automatically deleted all right thank you so much for being part of my day today love you see you soon